how did you launch the ministry? In other words, what was your strategy early on? Did you just kind of walk around campus in a heavenly daze, uh, <laughs> hoping that you'd bump into the right people? I mean, how, how, tell us what your strategy was. Well, we knew a year in advance that we were going to launch there. And so I began taking trips, like day trips up to, we we're two and a half hours away. And we just started meeting students and I was trying to get a feel for who the mainstream was, who were the movers and shakers, what, um, you know, my background was ministering to fraternity students, but I didn't know that if we were going to try to reach uh, fraternity students or was it going to be more of the sports teams or, you know, I just wanted to go after the mainstream <clears throat> and reach the leaders there. Uh, so we quickly found out that a lot of the, the, the people that were in the mainstream were in the Greek system. Um, there was a lot of people on campus, uh, about 18 to 20,000 students at Missouri State. Um, and there's a lot of people from the city of Springfield, but those people are not on campus. Like they live at home. Uh, and so the, the students that were most likely to be in a fraternity or sorority were from St. Louis, Kansas City. Uh, and they were the ones who lived in the dorms. They were eating in the cafeteria. They were involved in things. Uh, so uh, those are the people that we that was kind of our strategy. But we really kind of developed kind of four things that we that kind of defined who we were and what we were going to do. Number one. Uh, we were going to have confidence. We were going to have confidence that God has called us to this ministry. God has called us to this campus. Um, and we're supposed to be here. And there was times, as you know, when you're on campus where you're asking yourself, am I really supposed to be here? Uh, you know, this person, uh, you know, do I really need to go talk to this person? Um, well, people, you know, I've said I've been in the room before where I had a Bible study and nobody showed up for the Bible study. <laughs> <laughs> and, and in those moments, uh, I would draw back to my confidence, uh, you know, that can only come from God, that I am here um, because God has called me to be here. And I have a message that these every single person on this campus needs this message, the mm -hmm. mess of, message of salvation. Um, and so that's what would keep me going. Um, the second thing is we said we're going to do whatever it takes. Uh, so that kind of led us to making some um, risky decisions, whether it was with um, an event that we might do or it might be, OK, I'm kind of nervous to go talk to this guy over here. And there's definitely moments that I was it's almost embarrassing to admit that I'm, I'm scared to go talk to that 20 year old you know, <laughs> fraternity guy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but, man, I remember thinking I'm going to do whatever it takes, man. I'm going to go. I need to go talk to that guy. And so I'm going to go do it. And I had the confidence, you know, that Christ has called me to be. I don't know how this conversation is going to go, but I, I need to do whatever it takes. And then the third thing um, is we're going to love people really well. Um, and so it doesn't matter if this is the most involved person in our ministry or the person that I just met on the bus or the person that I, uh, you know, walked for a second, you know, to, they were walking to class and I walked next to them. I'm going to love people really well. Um, and then the fourth thing is, uh, our focus, um, and we developed this in that first year, and we're, we're going to talk more about this, but we're going to do everything we can do to get people to our winter conference. Like that was the thing we're going to focus on. And we know good things are going to happen when we do that. Mm -hmm.